uh, Amanji, just quickly, if you could just uh, tell us, uh, uh, this, because this is important, that the Congress too, uh, like for example, Nehru, Nehru himself, uh, I think he rooted for the, uh, uh, you know, he, he himself wanted the, uh, the I think we beat Radha Krishna's home to be to be pulled down or something for the, yes, 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 yes. No, you're right. I, I think that that's a, that's a very good question. Because mm -hmm. I, I think that we're asking all the wrong questions. You know, people, the press is saying, why does Prime Minister Modi's megalomania need such a big house, etc.? Hello, he is the Prime Minister of 1.3 billion people, the world's largest democracy. He needs to have a, a home which merits the status, the security, the convenience of the Prime Minister of India. And the question should not be this. I think the question should be, why was, why did the Congress Mm -hmm. fossilized the Murti house into a museum. Mm -hmm. You know, right. because if, if we are so concerned about uh, um, museums, museums mm -hmm. are actually more actively made in dead civilizations, mm -hmm. as, as I said earlier, you know, we are a living civilization. And if we say, you know, if, if Britain has to make a, you know, the, the, a church uh, which falls down, they'll have a lot of difficulty in erecting it. Whereas in, if the Taj Mahal fell down or if the Alora uh, cave, something happened, we have the craftsmen, we have descendants of these people, we have the materials, we have the skills, we, we're a living civilization, you know. So uh, Teen Murti House should never have been made into a museum because, you know, if you, if you stand at Rashtrapati Bhavan, in fact, maybe we should have done this right in the beginning, you know, the, the building is the head of, uh, government is the governor general of that time so on his left is god because there's a church mm -hmm. and on his right is the house of the military commander because mm -hmm. you know you can't rule without power and guns so you had god guns uh -huh. and government and then the parliament later because when you know they had to be and the vista was the king's way because he was a living king george v mm -hmm. and his father edward the Eight, uh, was uh, on the left, uh, uh, sorry, and on the right is, 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 is George the sixth, his son, okay. who is the father of Queen Elizabeth. Right. So when, long before Modi, there, there, there was a fabulous collection of Asiatic antiquities of uh, Dr. Oral uh, Stein, and mm -hmm. he, uh, that was housed in a museum which was made which is near, near where the National Museum now is. And that building existed. So Nehru uh, ordered the knocking of that building to make the National Museum and mm -hmm. put that. So this has already happened once. It's know? already happened, right. It's, it's already happened, happened once. Mm -hmm. And uh, so shall we, yeah, let's talk museum first here. So now it's going because uh, that museum has 35 lakh square meters of space. Right. But it's, it's going to the North Block, South Block, to the Parliament, which is, all this is going to have one, one lakh and 25 uh, square meters of right. space. So it's, it's you know, 35,000 or one lakh 25,000. Much more. Much so much the more. press is saying, you know, culture is being squashed into a little corner and they're saying things like, all the art treasures would break and what will happen? What happens when India sends its treasure to the Smithsonian, Absolutely. to Australia, exactly. to the British Museum? They are packed and sent. So if we can send them across the seven seas to all why the continents and all the world, why can't we send them? And I, I think uh, they did it in Cairo also, Amanji. They, they did transfer the, I think they were recent. That's what I'm back. saying. They, by, right. This is sensationalism to say, that we suddenly become incompetent if I have to walk from my bed <laughs> to my sofa, but I, I can swim across seven seas. Right. So I think that, and people are influenced by these kind of things. Yes. I think yes. that uh, they, they should be, uh, and the government is, I think, very intently working on the mission that it is doing. It, it has perhaps not played its cards well in doing enough public relations, but an honest person doesn't need to go on saying, I'm honest, I'm doing the right thing. I'm, you know, 51 ministries are going to be assembled in one place in a, in, a, in a country where people say, so difficult to get anything done from the government. You know, mm -hmm. I have friends in government from, at all levels. They come for a meeting from outside, you know, from the suburb of Delhi. Then they yeah. say, oh, we've got to see the minister again after lunch, after 11 right. o'clock. 
tunnels hang around here. There's so much waste of time and there's so much communication, so much traffic. Now there'll be internal, you know, underground passages. What is the objection of people for all these buildings being broken down? And besides, in 1983, Intac uh, made a list of the buildings of any importance. I incidentally happened to be the youngest founder member of Intac when it was founded, when Rajiv Gandhi was prime minister and my first book was being published in Oxford uh, yes. and uh, by Blacker. And I came back with uh, you know, the papers of the National Trust, met Popul Jekar, Martan Singh, Rajiv Gandhi and said, we should, be, we should do something like this. And they said that they were already working on something like this. So together we worked on making this. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.